Solos is saved, guys. So I was going to push this video out yesterday with just the dev stream assets and what they shown there, but I decided I want to show some real gameplay of all the new features coming in 1.12 update. The patch notes are going to be in the description as well as the pinned comment if you guys want to check them out. There is a lot of new stuff in this patch, so there will be timestamps in the pinned comment and in the description as well, so you can skip around quickly and search for what you're looking for. Let's not waste any time and get into this. The tutorial was completely reworked, and it's even scripted. Check this out. You're a survivor, or at least got the makings of one. Pretty damn cool. I wish I was a new player. I am going to do a full tutorial playthrough at the very end of the video. So if you want to watch what the advanced and the normal tutorial look like, that's going to be at the end of the video for you to check out. I'm just going to talk about it here so you guys know. The combat log or the damage history is finally getting updated. We are finally able to see how much damage we're dealing and it is just overall much more readable. The UI in general looks a little bit different and is much, much cleaner. When selecting a weapon, tool, or consumable, there is no longer a giant list of every single skin and version or variant of that weapon. Instead, you just have a little arrow or a little checkbox that you can scroll back and forth and just this will be permanent as well, and this will just make the menu much more easier to scroll through. So basically, you'll select the skin. For example, right here, I select one of the Bombland skins. If I go into a game and reload this screen, that skin will already be selected. So no more just mindless scrolling and wasting time. Solo gameplay changes. Guys, self-res is back. You guys know what that means. Solo guides are back on the menu. Self-res did receive a small nerf. Before you could res after 4 seconds, now it is 10 seconds, but I am beyond hyped and I'm excited to create some more solo guides for you guys. Those are super popular and everyone loves them, so that's going to be super dope. But not only did Necro come back, Magpie and Serpent received some buffs for solos as well. Serpent has had its range extended to 50 meters for solo players only, so they are a little bit safer when serpenting or trying to steal the bounty to get some information that if it goes close and is... Uh, no, just a really good change. Also, Magpie now gives solo players 10 seconds of dark sight per bounty. So, this way, solos are on a little bit more of an even playing field, especially against duos. Uh, so, you know, before we all only had 5 seconds, now we have 10 as a solo player, which is huge. And Magpie is getting changed for everybody. Solos, duos, or trios. You will now get all three effects when you pick up a bounty. So, I will be taking Magpie from now on. That's going to become a normal trait in my roster. Also, the underdog bonuses got a $50 increase, so not too much. And there is now a permanent nighttime contract. This is the new wild card. It isn't anything crazy like the Inferno map or the Serpent's Moon nighttime, but they are going to be testing a permanent contract where you can select that you want to play nighttime. This is good for those nighttime enjoyers. Reload bug and left side peeking are fixed. There's a lot of technical stuff here, but the TLDR of the left side peak is that the camera was moved slightly in relation to the actual Hunter model. So it still does exist, but it's just not as ridiculous and powerful as it was before where their entire head is behind the cover. The image shows that pretty well. And regarding the reload bug, it should be fixed. They want us to test it a little bit more, uh, but most of the reload bugs, if not all of them, should be entirely fixed. Saddles, the saddles update. There is a new world item aka a saddle they spawn on the horses the noise trap horses that make sound or just randomly around the map on like their respective posts these saddles can have weapons and a pouch that you can loot and the pouch will either have a consumable or money inside of it so it's going to add a lot of value to naked runs and i'm going to be doing a lot of those i think because it's going to now be much easier to actually find usable weapons and uh you know create some cool naked run content there are four new weapons and a few weapon changes. 
First of all, the Avdo, Crytek knows how this weapon is plaguing the game right now, and they have a plan to fix it. It will not be in this patch, but it is important, so listen up. They said, we are working on a change to fix the ammunition system. This will introduce some changes to how resupplying and extra ammo capacity is handled. The Avdo on its own, without dual wielding, sucks. You need the sparks or the uppercut, or else the Avdo is just useless. So in my mind, with what they said, this change means they might be removing ammo stacking from the game, which is good because the actual size of the uppercut bullet versus the Mosin bullet, for example, is different. It's a different caliber entirely, and they should not stack and work together and go in each other's guns, right? This is honestly the best case, in my opinion, as this will fix some problems with long ammo spam and wallbang spam, since you will have to make your shots count. But weapons like the Nagant and the Windfield have the same bullet size, so they will actually stack still, and it shouldn't be an issue. That's all I have on this. I don't know anything more than that. That's all the details, and that's just my idea of what they might be doing. That's not confirmed. That's just uh, something I wanted to put out there. So we have four new weapon variants. We have the Centennial Shorty and Centennial Shorty Silencer. I'm super excited to play the Silencer version, and I think it's going to add a lot of variety to some loadouts and going to be very fun to play. There's also two Crag variants, Bayonet and unfortunately Sniper. I was really hoping for a Deadeye personally, because I would love to just do some Crag quick scoping. It's like the perfect rifle for it. But uh, this is what we have, and this is what we got to deal with, and that's okay. I think it's going to be fun, but it is not going to be better than the Mosin, that is for sure. Next, we have two new quest lines. Ooh. I'm not going to go into too much detail of all the challenges and how to do them and whatever. I'm sure you all know how to do that. But one of the challenges does say investigate gator traps. I wonder what that can mean. Hmm? Also, when this patch is on live, the gator quest line will be available for one month. And after that, the skinned quest line will become available. Here you can see the dates for each quest line. And I should mention the Billy story line is not going anywhere it's here to stay so don't worry about that just get it done guys come on it's like 10 months old david is a new general manager at crytek rick and david talked about the future of hunt and there's some really exciting stuff coming they talked about a roaming target coming near the summer and i wonder if the gator traps have something to do with this huh the shooting range was also talked about, where we'll be able to shoot targets, get damage indicators, see ranges, test weapons, there's going to be moving targets, and everything else that shooting ranges normally have. We'll also be able to invite friends to the shooting range and turn on PvP, so we could do proper Call of Duty 1v1 quickscope tournaments, and that is just going to be super fun. I'm really excited for that, create a lot of content with that. And we can finally see if Vambas is better than Rakta's. We can finally have an actual official answer they also confirmed new map is coming early next year in 2024 and they also said that they have some prototype game modes in the works we probably won't be able to play these but this was notable for me because it shows that they are actually interested in creating new game modes which is what hunt needs the most in my opinion i highly recommend you guys check out this video there will be a link to it in the description it was a really good watch and there's just lots of juicy information, and my hopes for the game have just exceeded and gone above the sky. I'm super hyped for this, uh, the future of the game, and, and it's just great. I highly recommend you watch that. Link in the description and pinned comment. In the patch notes, it also says that the player footstep audio was fixed. I don't know if you guys noticed, but in the recent patch, 1.11, before Devil's Moon dropped, the footstep audio has just not been as clear and good as it used to be. But this is my limited testing with the footstep audio, and I could honestly visualize and track these guys through the walls and know exactly where they were and perfectly predict them. So let me know what you guys think about the audio in this little clip. It seems fixed to me, so that makes me happy because I've been having lots of audio issues recently.
that is gonna do it guys there's a lot of small changes and bug fixes that i didn't mention like the poison hand crossbow got its cloud increase in size and the fuckboy forest near port Beaker and alice and darrow had a lot of the bushes removed so it's a little bit easier to see people but the patch notes are going to be in the description for you to check out if you want to check out everything down to the nitty gritty if you guys want cheap DLCs and to pick up the game for cheap for your friend that's too much of a coward to buy it himself, you could go over to the Crytek website and use code GUNSMACK at checkout and save tons of money. This works on the game, any Crytek game, and all of the DLCs that get released for Hunt, so it is better than buying them on Steam, and the developers do get more money, I would assume. I think Steam takes a cut for each purchase, so if you want to use that and support me and support your favorite game creators, go ahead and do that. And uh, it helps a lot, and it would mean the world to me. I really hope this video was informative, and if it was, make sure you leave it a like or a dislike, and leave a comment to help support me. It would mean a lot. Enjoy my first impressions of the new tutorial, and thank you for checking out the video. What the? What the? For you, the suffering of a savior, and the coin of a betrayer. What the game is forever. But the money is worth it. This is cool, man. This is cool. What the You're a survivor, or at least got the makings of one. Get on up now. Wait. That injection knocked your teeth in real good. This is it? cool. There's a health kit by the gate. This is cool. Press backspace to read entry. Oh fuck, I missed it. I was too slow. Just heal real quick. Look at that guy, man. Look at that guy. He's a fucking voice acted and everything. That's really sick. That's the first time Hunt did this. All patched up. Then head on out. You got a lot to learn. That's the first time I did this. Lesson. Wading through water is noisy and slow. Oh. But sometimes it's the only way forward. Okay. Stay vigilant. Ooh, he opened the door. And he vanished? Oh. He's over there. So we need to follow the path. Can I see my objectives? No. Just at the top, I see. This is cool. It's good to be quick. But running for too long will drain you. Stop sprinting at times to catch your breath. Oh, man, look at that. That's cool. Can we get out of the map, maybe? Let's see, guys. And Tumble really, really did some work here, didn't he? In classic Gunsmack fashion. We gotta try to get out of the map, guys. Come on now. So, by the way, I'm not live. This is... I'm off stream right now. This is literally my first time doing this. Genuine reaction. This is like a weird version of Devant, I think. I wonder if we can get out like this. Oh. I'll try to I'll try to get out of the map <laughs> another time. Maybe. Maybe I'll do it now? Yeah, I'll try to figure it out another time. Hey, this is weird, man. Little ping on the- little ping here as well. Cause you gotta crouch. Look at that. The ping resets. Huh. This is really cool, man. Can I vault this? Oh, cause I want us to jump. But you can't jump over it. You actually have to vault it. Man, what the traps like that from time to time. Catch up so you don't bleed out. Now, cool. If you want to make good money, you're going to need to find a target. Remember that shot? It made you special and it'll help you see beyond human limits. It gave you something called dark sight. Feels like an itch behind the eyes. Focus on that feeling to enter the site and look for a blue glow. 
The light will lead you to your first clue. Dude, what the? This is so sick. Dude, I wish I was a new player, man. This is so cool. Look at this. It's like a whole map. It's like a whole different map. Let's try to... Do a CSGO jump here, maybe. Oh, I fucked it up already. Yeah, no. Look at this! It's like a weird devant. What's he looking at me for? Oh. This is actually so sick. Each clue guides you towards your target. That map I left in your pocket will point you forwards. Ooh. I even took the trouble of marking supply points and the like in the legend. Between the map and dark side, you'll be able to narrow down the location of your target with each clue. I wonder if we can Good go work. here. Looks like your target is west. Head on up the ladder and let's see how sneaky you can be. I don't have Lightfoot, bro. I can't be sneaky. Got ourselves a bunch of animals. They're ready to holler if you spook them, and that risks you alerting an enemy nearby. Try to reach the gate across the way without troubling any animals. What? Else, I might even reward you. Okay, so this is where they teach you how to crouch walk all over the place. Oh, man. I don't know about this. They want me to crouch walk, dude. Man. Why are they teaching why are they teaching people to do this? Man. It's good to you know sneak by, but I feel like most players are gonna crouch the whole way. Cause this is this doesn't really give you like a like a, an idea on how close you can get. You know what I mean? Dude, this is really cool, man. Look at this building. That's how it's done. Blunt and quick, or heavy and sharp. Knuckle knife, always. Swinging that will tire you out. Goes without saying that when you're tired, you're slower. Yes. Take out the dummies and get a feel for it. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Finish him off. He don't bite. Tired Dude. But it won't always be that easy. We call these grunts, and they bite back. You know how to hit, and you know how to sneak. Use what I taught you. All right, all right. This is really cool, man. Let's up the ante. Outside is what we call an armored. You'll find out why. Dude, so I wonder if the uh, these dummies are going to be in the shooting range that they, they talked about on the roadmap. I bet you they are. They, they made a model and everything for them. And just look at the detail in, this, in these areas, man. This is so cool. It should be cool for like, for like an actual map. I mean, maybe it wouldn't be, but maybe it wouldn't play out fun. But it'd be cool to see this like added somewhere. About how you Still, water could use some work, so it would be kind of cool. Don't get scared. Whoa! Now that we're working what together, the? I can talk to you through dark side. Makes things a lot simpler for what's to come. Whoa! Now it's time to get you something with firepower. Dude, what? This is kind of cool. Dude, he's in my head, and also he's opening the gates. So does that mean we have a trait coming to interact with gates with dark sight? And also maybe we could use VoIP with dark sight somehow? Over there. Get it. We'll test your aim now. Look at this. Don't waste my bullets. We only have so many crates. Everything in life gets old, but not the sound of those heads popping. Reload. 
And don't be surprised if it takes a little bit. As long as you got something in the chamber when you need it, you'll be allowed to reload later. <laughs> you'll be a crack shot. It's really cool, dude. Got some more weapons and blunts for you to play with over there. Let's see what you're made of. Mm. Not one to conserve ammo, are you? Just mind that when it's all real, you'll have to be more careful. Look at this, man. Look at this. Dude, the shooting range is going to look like this, I bet you. No better sight than putting a grunt back in the dirt. Now let's do Look at this. Shoot. That's right. Send them back to their mate. You got the hang of killing. But when you're ready, your second clue is up ahead. You can always stick around for more shooting practice and get a feel for the weapons. Just try to leave some for the next recruits. Dude, this is, <laughs> this is actually so cool. Like, Hunt, Hunt has never had anything like this. So, like, this is, like, very weird, you know? This is, like, very, very weird. But I like it, man. I like it. How do they respawn? Is it when I turn around? No. It's not like the statues in Skyrim. Cool. Keep your paying attention. You see that clue there has turned red. It can only mean one thing. There's a hunter nearby that ain't friendly. How does it know? Being watched. Take out the watcher first. How does it know? We can read about the clues. Cool. Man, he's, he's, he's just crouching, bro. He's camping somewhere. I'm scared. If you listen carefully, that's the sound of a red clue. That hunter must be close. Keep wearing now. And where's he camping at, bro? Salam. Next time, you won't be as lucky. Dude! This is awesome. That clue without doing your due diligence would have been a big risk. If you open your map, you'll see you have a better picture of where the target is. I wonder if you don't do what he says, like I just grab the Let's clue. Moving. It just without it's killing the guy, what would happen? A bit about working together with one another. Meet Cletus. He'll be your partner for this exercise. Cletus! Go ahead and say hello. Where is he? Cleater! Where is the cleater? Oh! Now, I still got line of sight. So if you help him up, I'll just knock him right back down. Make it safe for him first. What? What the? Well done. Do what you can to make things safe whenever you face a setback. Wait. Cletus, get up! <laughs> I'll keep shooting Cletus till the gators come home. <laughs> my line of sight. <laughs> what? Dude, he said gators, guys. He said gators. He's leaking information. Thank God I don't have to replace old Cleet. Time to get a move on. Dude, what would happen if I just res him again? Next part simple. Run I'm gonna the fire fast and then put it out. You don't want to burn to death. I'm gonna do this twice. When you were bleeding, burning is a slow death you can avoid, but it'll take time. Yeah, when uh, I'm gonna do this again and like purposely fail. See what happens. This is so cool. Yer. And I'm burning way faster than you do in the normal game. You burn way quicker there. there. Would have been a damn shame. You're hurt now. Only banishing a target will fully restore your vitality.
All right. Time to start your own fires. I have some more presents for you in the next room. Explosives can turn the tables real fast when you've been dealt a bad hand. You can carry a few of them. A bad hand. You can find others when you're out exploring. Like the hunter. This ain't obvious. You can only use them once. Those fire bombs and dynamite sticks are for you. Pick them up and let's see how good your throwing arm is. Now, it's just the same target practice with one exception. Burn the bastards up. Really cool, man. It's really cool. You've got the hang of killing, that's for sure. Let's test what you learned so far. I set up something real nice for you just ahead. It's really cool, dude. There's a pack of grunts. I'm really there. loving this. Clear them out any way you want. There's enough equipment around, so let your imagination run wild. Oh yeah, look at this. That's cool. This is really cool, man. This is much better than the old, old trip. Uh, what do you call it? The old training. The old training, literally. I'm pretty sure there's like a statistic, but like 60 or 70 percent of players didn't finish the old training. Crytek like like posted like a thing about it or something in the dev stream, and like so many people didn't even complete the training because like they didn't know what to do. This is like really cool. Oh, look at this new grunt. That grunt don't exist. This is really cool, dude. Great work. By the looks of it, I'm going too easy on you. This is really fucking cool, man. Like, like I said earlier, Hunt is just like never had anything like this, guys. It's never had anything like this. So this is just like super, super cool and and like really interesting to me, you know. I don't have stam shot. I can't do the butcher tech. Just for you. Look at this. Special. He's been weakened. Oh! So all you gotta do is finish him off. Oh you know, shit! No. By the way, we call him the butcher. Better watch out. That hook and fire of his will bite you real hard. Oh Good man, luck, I wish they said like to the show. using an axe is like really effective against the butcher or any boss in general. Dude, this is so cool. Man. Bravo. I'm mighty impressed. Butcher had some fat left. It's like Alice. So you beat him down real good. Let's start the banishment, then you can claim your bounty. You'll recover as soon as you start it. There's a boom to channeling fonts of other worlds of power. Oh man, it's I don't know guys. I'm just like I'm actually blown away with the the level of detail and stuff here. Like this is just like it's actually so cool. Careful now. That banishment sets off a storm in Darkseid. Any hunters nearby will come in lock, stock, and barrel. Steal I really want to see if we can get out of the map. The banishment takes a while. Stay alert and listen for I'm gonna try to figure it out off stream, I guess, Practice later. Caution. Try to when try to get it out of the map. Take traps with see what I can do. Oh! Oh, close, man. When you pick up that bounty, you'll get a short boost to your dark side that'll reveal any hunters trying to get what's yours. Watch for an orange glow. Pick up the bounty token. It's so cool, man. See what I, mean. I, I know I'm just repeating myself, but I'm genuinely impressed. Crytek is doing God's work. You've got some unwanted guests west of here. They're readying an ambush. You'll have to take them out. Okay, man. Mm. Oh, I forgot to mention. Once you've got that bounty token on you, everyone in the area can track you down. Through the site and the map. Hiding is futile. Hiding is futile. Not a good tip. Not a good tip, in my opinion. There they are. Oh, Just it's like the these guys. Ready to take them out. It's these guys, man. Look how cool they are. They're so cool. There you have it, Hunter. 
You're officially ready to take on whatever awaits you out there. Now you got two options. You can extract and get your money, or you can keep on going ahead and take oh. on some more advanced challenges. It's tougher, and I'm really? there to help. But if you make it out, you'll be even more ready to cause hell in the bayou. Look at that! You might have found a reward to boot. Choice is yours. Oh, this is cool. Okay. So basically, it leads into the advanced. It basically leads into the advanced uh, training. Uh, you've proven what it takes. Advance to Cyprus or extract. Your training will be gone, but there are plenty of hints. Features. PvE arena to practice bounty hunt missions. Lootable alternative weapons. More advanced set of enemies and AIs. Full health spider. So the basic tutorial just leads into the advanced tutorial. So if I went and killed the spider, I would just complete the advanced tutorial. And all it gives you is like six blood bonds. So that's all you really get for completing the advanced tutorial. But it does teach you a lot more about the game. And Cyprus is like a completely different compound. Like... A lot of the windows and doors are there where they normally wouldn't be. You guys should go check it out for yourselves. It's really strange. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it, guys. I hope this video was awesome, informative, and helpful for you. Make sure to leave it a like again. And uh, thanks for checking it out. Yeah, peace.